confession. This isn't an actual podcast kind of episode. It's me, James Lodge Jr. This is Darth Vader, your father. It actually was born out of me wondering <laughs> from another podcast what was happening in the movies 20 years ago this week. So uh, July 26, 2002. That seems like a long time ago. Oh, my goodness. That was 20 years ago. Whole new, whole the world. We're coming out. We're still coming out of 2000, you know, 2000, what happened on September 11th, coming out of all that stuff from the year, from half a year before. Um, and I was looking for something else. And this came up. And I just thought, wow, I didn't realize the movie was out during it's this random week I chose out of the whole year that this movie was out. And so I thought, I'm gonna, this is the place I come to talk about Star Wars related stuff. So 20 years ago this week, um, out of the movies at number 17, the 17th movie of the week was Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. I'm like, oh, and now I'm wondering, I'm going to do some research. Everybody, you guys know this already, you, can, you already know this already, you can let me know. But now I'm wondering, if I just start picking random weeks I was random years since Star Wars, since the Star Wars saga has been released. Will I find a Star Wars movie every time? Well, I guess no, because there are a couple. There were some years there was no Star Wars movies in between. That's true. So never mind. So I guess that wouldn't work. But I'll, but well, I guess if I, the thing would be still if I picked how many times a Star Wars movie would show up. That's probably better. How many times a Star Wars movie would show up? If I just randomly pick years and do it, that's that's what it is. More, I'm not saying what would be the thing. What would be a thing? That would be interesting to see. And because there, I mean, it's all those you know, all those movies, all those trilogies, all those movies. Um, so it was out for eleven weeks by then, and it grossed over two hundred and ninety-six million dollars. So it's a lot of money. Um, I personally was in San Francisco. I went and saw the theater. I try to think, did I see it with anybody? I chance I probably saw it with one of my friends. I can't tell you, I can't remember who I saw it with. Um, could have been my friend Nick, it could have been my friend Michelle, who knows. But we saw it at the theater. I'm sure I remember that much for sure. And I remember I didn't like it as much. I thought it was okay. I remember that. Um, but I thought it, I thought the CGI was bad. I didn't think it was good. Uh, it was a little weird. In some parts, um, but there were parts of it I did like. Um, I think I did. I did another show where I talked about exactly what I liked about it with so with my co-host. So I won't reiterate that here. But um, I just I, I remember I, th I thought I thought it was okay. I wasn't blown away by it. I thought it was okay. Um, of course, this in a lot of the other shows, a lot of the movies have begat the Clone Wars. And Rebels, which are the animated series um, that are way superior and way better. I mean, just, you know, the whole thing. Going to like some stories and storylines, much better, much, much better. I guess even Bad Batch would be part of that also line. So it's funny that that's still, that was part of that. Um, and I don't think I was going to say, 2002, how, how old was I? I was 33. So now I'm watching Star Wars films in my I'm not middle age, not middle age yet, but in my just adulthood. Like I'm serious adult. I'm not like twenties, but like I'm in my serious adulthood. And I remember um the second trilogy, each movie my kind of generation wasn't as excited. We were excited at first, but then when we saw the first one, we're like, uh, and then this one we weren't as excited. Um of course the third one to come. So but anyway, that was kind of funny. That I just this was not supposed to be a podcast episode. It was just kind of like I'm doing some research for something else. But you guys are my Star Wars nation. I had to share this. So 20 years ago this week, Clone Wars with uh, Clone Wars. So I, said, I just say Clone Wars. Attack of the Clones was in the theaters in the top 20 still. Now after 11 weeks, that's pretty good. So people were seeing it. I had first saw it over and over again. I think I saw it once in the theater and later when we got the. The DVD. I watched it several times, but in the theater, I had friends who went to the theater over and over again. I saw it. 
I'm James I Jr. We're on audio, we're on video, all the episodes are there. Plus, check out my Boba Fett after show, Mandalorian after show for season two. We'll be on Kenobi after show. And we've already set up the Andor after show. Uh, so we will be here for Andor when it comes out. And I set up the Ahsoka after show. So when Ahsoka comes out, we'll be there for that too. Mandalorian season three, we'll be back for that. All those things. Hello to our friends from around the world. We love you. Um, me, my co host. Uh, and who knows what else we're doing. So just stay tuned with us. Keep following us wherever you find it. And we'll see you next time.